have Teddy, your LinkedIn and sales navigator, strategist, trainer, and coach. And the question I got asked is, what's the pros and cons of using LinkedIn job alerts? What's the benefits of having them? And what's the downside of turning them off? Before I share with you my insights of how to use LinkedIn jobs, hit that notify and that subscribe button. I can create all of these videos for you. So LinkedIn job search, I mean, I can go to the job tabs right here, but it really starts right here when I want to look for, you know, I want to look for a painter. And I type in the word painter. And then I say, I want to look for jobs. And now when I'm in jobs, I can say, okay, I want to find a painter in North Carolina. So I type in North Carolina. And look, it's found a bunch of painters in North Carolina, commercial painters, et cetera, et cetera. Now, job alerts only show up if the filters you use have at least one result. You can see the, the filter is all the way down here at the bottom. Excuse me, the alert right here. Create a alert. But I'm going to narrow this down a little bit tighter. I'm going to say, you know, I want the ones posted in the last week, and I'm going to show 209 results. Then I want experience level. I want uh, mi uh, associate or, or mid-senior, and there's 69 show results. Then I'm going to say, look, I want job type full-time. There's 52 results. Show that. Then I'm going to say, let's see what happens if I do hybrid. There's four results. What about if I just do remote? There's 36 results of painters in North Carolina that are hybrid. Show the results. Now, furthermore, if you still, as you still see now the bottom of this list is create the alert. We'll come back to that in a minute. But over here in all filters, let me show you what else is there. If I go to all filters, here's the filters I just used, job type, remote, but check this out. I got industry, so I can look for specific jobs in, in specific industries. I can own, uh, And there's add another industry in case it's not listed there. I can say look for a job function, so I can look for specific job functions, including add another job function. I can look for specific titles, but interestingly, I can only select from this list. But this is pretty interesting. How about where there's under 10 applicants, it's in your network, which means it's probably a company that's associated to your first or second level, and a fair chance employer, which I really like this model, see jobs from employers who signed up to pledge to hire people with criminal records. That means that they're going to hire ex-offenders. I like that model. I don't need that for me. And then the other filter that's here, a couple, two other filters, is salary. So I want to look for jobs that are 40 plus. There's still 18 results. And I want to look for jobs that have medical benefits. There are now five results. Here are the five, and I still have the ability at the bottom to create the alerts. I can create this alert. Now, to come back and look at that in a few minutes, but these, there's the jobs. So I can click on each one of these jobs, and I can review them and make a decision as to what I want to do with them. Now, let's go all the way out of this. Let's go look at alerts. I'm going to go back to home. I'm going to go to jobs. And I'm going to see, I'm going to click on job alerts. And there's my painter. So there's my painter alert. If I click on that, it's going to bring up the search that I previously created looking for this job. And it's going to give me all of the opportunities that are available within these parameters. Let me make sure you're clear about something that's really important. Do not create a broad sweeping job alert. Create a job alert that really looks at the exact kind of job you want that fits you to a T, whatever that means. If you want medical insurance, make sure you select that. If you want 40,000 plus a year, you want remote, we want full time, whatever it is you want, make sure you filter down as tight as you can for each of these job alerts because you do not want to be bombarded with a bunch of job alerts for jobs that are irrelevant to you. So be very purposeful about that. And one more thing, if I go back to that job alert, let me show you something. I'm gonna go back to the top. I'm gonna go to jobs. I'm gonna go to job alerts. I'm gonna hit this pencil right here. Look here, get notified of similar jobs. Uh-uh, I don't want similar. I want specific. So do not get bombarded with similar jobs. And we hit save. And now when I go look at that job alert, here are the specific jobs that supposedly fit this criteria that you built. Now, what's the benefit? 
the benefit of having highly focused or as tightly focused job alerts as you can have is that you're going to get the best possible opportunities as a result of these alerts. That's the benefit of having a highly focused, narrowed down job alert. Now, let's talk about the benefit or the pros and cons of not having these job alerts. Here, the first of all, benefit number one is get rid of any job alert that is no longer relevant or important to you, or if you have refined the search in a much better way, get rid of the ones that are irrelevant. Because all they do is burden you with more either emails or notifications for stuff that is no longer important to you because A, you've either decided to go look for something different or B, you have refined that search. So be very purposeful about removing the clutter. The other thing that I would suggest for you is if you've already found the ideal job and you have accepted the ideal job, then I would pare down any job alerts you have to either none or again, highly focused. Very, very clear, maybe even more focused than you did before because if you've got a job, you wanna stay focused on being productive and creating value in that job. You do not want to be, uh, bomb again, bombarded with irrelevant content that distracts you from being successful. I'm a huge fan of always stay aware of new opportunities, but having job alerts on that are irrelevant or distracting would be uh, counterproductive and I would highly recommend you remove those or again, pare them down so tight that you find, what's it called, uh, you find the pink unicorn and you don't just find a unicorn. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn and Sales Navigator strategist trainer and coach. And I hope this idea of using LinkedIn job alerts is helpful for you.